watching Season Living with Rosemary. Hi friends, today we're sewing for the dog. This is Mr. Snickers and we're going to show you how to go about measuring and making a belly band. Now, um, belly bands, if you don't understand what they are, they can be made for female dogs. I'm just going to be showing you how to make for a male dog today. They are a band that is made out of a fabric that you line with an incontinence pad, not a menstrual pad, an incontinence pad. And if you have a dog that is old, Mr. Snickers is now 13. You know, if you have bladder leakage or marking problems where they like to lift their leg in the house and you want to protect your furniture and things like that, then you might need a belly band. Here are the supplies you're going to need. Tape measure, thread, scissors, pins, Velcros, a nice wide one is nice for this. You can use skinnier strips if you want, but I, I just really like the nice wide band here. This one is, this one's an inch and a half wide. Then you're going to need some kind of paper. Cardstock works nice for this pattern, but probably multiple pieces. I'm going to need two pieces taped together to make my pattern. Depending on the circumference of your dog, you're going to need to tape pieces together. So first of all, I need to know how many inches he is around. Okay, so he's approximately 16 inches around. Now you wanna make your belly band overlap slightly. Okay, so that if you have, if you need to adjust it or you need to allow for that incontinence pad, so you wanna give about two to three inches to the length and your seam allowance also. Okay, so he's 16 inches around, so I would need to go 17, I would need to make it 18 inches long and then whatever my seam allowance is another about an inch and a half you need to find out the length from of the legs okay up how far you know how much do you need so you need to measure where does his private part end and then say okay i need it to be about four and a half inches to make sure he's covered under there this is the pattern I made from the measurements. I'm just going to trim off the salvage edge. This is just one thickness. You don't need to double it unless you want to make multiple belly bands. For my second fabric, I'll be using a quilted piece that has fabric on each side. Put your two pieces of fabric together the sides that you want seen put together because we will be turning them right side out. I'm pinning the two pieces together using the top as the pattern piece so that I get both pieces the same size. Now I will cut the bottom piece. This will be the insides. We'll be stitching three sides. We want to leave the end open so that we can turn it inside out. Let's head over to the sewing machine. Remember to leave an opening. So we're going to start at this corner and reinforce it so that when we turn it inside out, it won't tear the fabric. I'm going to stitch around the three sides one more time, this time with a zigzag stitch. Now before we turn it right side out, we want to check to make sure all of the pins are out. We have one last thing to do need to clip each of the corners. I'm just going to be taking that triangle piece off. Be careful not to cut through your stitch line. This will give a nice neat look to our corners when we turn it right side out. Now where we left the end open, we're going to turn it right side out.
I'm going to be using a yardstick to insert into the belly band, get into the corners, and push them out so that they look neater. Here I'm just using my fingers on the opposite end. On our open end, we're going to slightly fold in the edges. We will pin it, and then we're going to stitch all the way around the outside to give the belly band a finished look. I'm putting extra pins in to keep the belly band laying flat. With the quilted fabric, it has a tendency to kind of puff up. I want this to have a nice, flat, finished look. Now I'm going to stitch that open end closed that we had folded in. And then I want to run a stitch along the border of the fabric, probably staying in about a half an inch. And this will keep the quilted fabric tight to the cotton fabric on the other side, and it will go through the wash much nicer. Now we're going to take out all the pins. Time to measure out and attach our Velcros. We'll pin the Velcros in place so that I can stitch around the outer edge. Now we want to add Velcros to the other side and the other end so that it wraps around and catches. So you want to use one of the Velcros pieces that's scratchy, and the other side you want to use the one that's softer so that they stick together. And here I'm just kind of softening the corners so that they're not so sharp. Now I'm going to just check for the fit. Make sure that the sides come around. Make sure that there's enough room to adjust for a pad to be put inside. With this style of belly band, you can reverse it for a different look. Now we're going to finish up by stitching the Velcros in place. I'm going to stitch around the edge of the Velcros twice to make sure it's very secure. All right, here's our belly band finished, and it can be used on the pumpkin side, fall's coming, or this, uh, this other design. And you will see I actually added a second piece of Velcros here to give me, he just got a haircut this morning. So um, this way I can adjust it for when he's thinner or during the winter months when he gains a little bit of weight. Okay, so that's why this second piece is here. The products that you want to use with this belly band, because this alone is not going to be enough. You, they'll wet right through it. So you can purchase um, incontinence pads. Do not use a baby diaper. Um, a lot of people have been taking a baby diaper and they will cut it to fit. The problem with that is, is that there's there's these little granules inside of a diaper, of a baby diaper, that um, are kind of a gel-like. And if your dog ingests them, you might have a large vet bill. So do not do baby diapers that you cut to size. So what I use is, you can get the male one. If, if, your, if your dog doesn't mind wearing pink, <laughs> you, can, you can get like the poise pads. This is just the male one, the male incontinence pad for a man, for a human. Uh, I think they do have dog liners, but I believe you pay a lot more for those. So I can get 52 in this bag. And actually, I picked this up at the thrift store, brand new, and I paid $4.99. So what you do is you just take your pad, just like you would for a human. Remove the strip, place it, kind of center it here 
in your on your belly band. Kind of smooth it down so that it sticks. And then and then what I like to do is kind of do this. <laughs> what that does is it makes sure everything's facing the correct way instead of being bent backwards. And just wrap it around and put the Velcros on. And there you have it. He is now protected for about two to three hours or overnight. Um, here is my disclaimer on this product. This product is to be used with caution because of bacteria buildup. Make sure you wash your belly bands uh, regularly and make sure you wash your pet regularly. I don't recommend using a belly band 24 hours a day because that area down here needs to have air. He needs to be able to clean himself or I need to be able to clean him. You can get kidney infections, you can get bladder infections if you're not careful with a product, using a product like this. So keep that in mind. It's just like a, a baby, clean that baby's bottom. And so do the same thing for your pet. Make sure you keep it clean, let them have time that's like air time. Mr. Snickers during the daytime does not wear a belly band. We have the house kind of sectioned off where he can and cannot go. But during the evening, if we want to go into the living room or when I take him to bed, he definitely has to wear a belly band. So these are very easy to do if you have a sewing machine. If you don't, you could maybe get together with someone that has a sewing machine and say, if I get it completely prepared, would you run it through your machine? I do know that you can go on to Etsy and they have um, shops on Etsy that will sell homemade belly bands. They will just ask you for your dog's measurements. And then I, I think they actually give you choices between fabrics and things like that. So if you don't want to do this yourself, but you think the idea is good, you think your dog might need a belly band at certain times, these can even just come in handy during times of surgery or illness. But just remember, keep your pet clean. Let them have airtime. That way, You'll be happy that you have a clean house and your pet will be happy that he's not getting yelled at. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Snickers? Let's take a walk. Today's Bible verse is 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 and 9. But beloved, do not forget this one thing that the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell for further notifications. We're now also on Rumble. Thank you for watching Season Living.